In this demo, I have a sales order for two wheel assemblies. Each wheel assembly consists of one bearing and 40 spokes. Both of the bearings of the wheel assemblies have been checked as serialized items. This allows us to record serial or lot numbers when they're received, invoiced, issued to manufacturing, or received back as assemblies. Well, let's get started. First, I'm going to receive some bearings from a PO. I'll click on Modules, Receive, and New. Let's put them in stores. Yes, I will want to scroll the purchase orders. I will select my PO and press the OK button. This is the receiver I want to receive. So I will press the Accept button. Now that I have my receive number, I'll press the OK button. Since I'm receiving all five, I will just press the OK button. Since the bearing has been checked as a serialized item, PCMRP prompts me to enter the serial or lot number for this part number. I'll click on Yes. I can enter the serial or lot number. I can use the barcode reader to insert the number or simply press generate the serial lot number button. And that'll give me the next serial lot number for this part number. In this case, I'll simply enter the number, one, two, three, four, five, and I'll leave the quantity at five. A serial number has a quantity of one, whereas a lot number can have a quantity of greater than one. Notice that I can enter an expiration or warranty date. I can enter my vendor's lot number, link this to another number, I link it to a document number, and even record some of the test results if need be. I'll click on the OK button to save this record and I'll press Finish. I'll press the Yes button to display or print out the receiver. In this case, I will select Display and press the OK button. Notice on the receiver's comments field, it contains my lot numbers. Now, I just happen to have a sales order for two wheel assemblies. I'll go to the stock room and issue the parts necessary to build that sales order's two wheel assemblies. I'll select Modules, Stock Room, New, Issue the Parts to Manufacturing, and press the OK button. We will withdraw the inventory from the stores area. I'll accept the next stock transaction number and answer yes, there is a sales or work order number. I'll select my sales order and I'll press OK several times here. I'll issue the two bearings from lot number 12345 and I will press OK. Next, I will print out the pick list and include the serial lot number information on it. Here is my report that includes the lot number and quantity on it. I'll click on the X button at the top of the page to return to PCMRP's main menu. Let's imagine it's the next day. The wheel assemblies are finished and need to be received back for manufacturing. So I'll click on Module, Stock Room, New, Receive Back from Manufacturing, press the OK button. Once, once again, I will select Stores and select my sales order. Again, I will select Yes to enter the serial lot number for my wheel assemblies. I will enter 1001 and a quantity of 1 for the first serial number. Once again, I could at this point enter warranty dates, etc. I'll press the OK and enter another serial number for the second wheel. It will automatically give me the next available serial number for the second wheel and I will press the OK button. Now that the job has been finished, I can invoice my wheels. To do so, I will select Modules, Invoice, New, On Account, Stores, Yes, scroll the sales order file, select my sales order. Notice the invoice comments already contains a, the lot number of the two bearings that were issued to this, this uh, invoice. I will click OK. Now I can select the two serial numbers that were received back from manufacturing for the sales order. I'll press Finish, and when I display this invoice by clicking on the OK button, notice the invoice now contains not only the lot number of the bearings that went into the wheels, but also the serial numbers of the two wheels that were sent with this invoice. Clicking on the X box will allow me to print the, print the shipper. The shipper will contain the same serial lot number information as well. Clicking on the X box will bring me back to PCMRP's main menu. Let's go to PCMRP Serial Lot Number Reporting by clicking on Optional, Serial Lot Numbers, Reports, Detail Reports, All Records, All Records Again, Display, and Standard. Let's maximize the report and reduce the font to 75%. So here we can see the R Receive Records for the bearings. 
the S stock issue records for the, for the bearings, the M manufactured records for the wheels, and the I invoice records for the wheels. Clicking on the X box will bring me back to PCMRP's main menu. I hope I've shown you how PCMRP can help you streamline your serial lot number operations.